Hello all, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole. I started the 30 day hair detox in January, 2021. And the purpose of my hair videos is been to document my progress with uh, simple hair care techniques of cleansing my hair with shampoo, conditioning it with conditioner, detangling and styling my hair every week um, during wash hour with um, mainly quality botanical based products that aren't going to coat my hair and block moisture, right? We want maximum hydration. This is a seven day old wash and go that has gracefully endured three workouts, right? And so today I'm going to reset my hair for wash hour. I'm going to repeat the process. I'm going to cleanse with the all purpose shampoo. I'm going to condition with the all purpose conditioner and detangle with my conditioner and then add my base gels, popper, and then anti-humidity, anti-frizz is where I'm at right now to get the longevity and the finish that I desire from my styles from week to week. We don't, by we, I mean me over here on this channel. We don't refresh our hair every night. We don't retwist re it. We set it once a week and then we sleep in a hair buff and then I document how my hair does every week and if there are any new insights or encouragements that I want to share with you on each day my hair lasts. So my hair varies from depending on the styling and the environmental factors and you know my life and how I feel that day, right? Anywhere from four to nine days. So that's where I'm at right now in my hair journey. So thanks for watching. Um, if I've sparked your interest, if anything has made you smile, if anything has made you think, uh, please do me the courtesy of hitting the subscribe button. I appreciate you for supporting this channel and for Right, if you support this channel, then you encourage more people to create content on simple hair care for tight, coily hair like mine. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go cleanse condition and apply my first base gel. And then I'll come out here and style for you. Okay, so we are back. We have cleansed our hair with shampoo. So important. Um, I use the all-purpose shampoo because I want to make sure for my hair, it's, my hair feels the cleanest when I use the all-purpose shampoo. The cleansing shampoo is too strong. The moisture poo is not always strong enough, right? And smoothing it so it dries lower. So then as the week goes on, right, my hair usually shrinks up to about where it is now. But even the water in my hair is actually adding weight because you saw in when I first started how this was all shrunk up, but the water is adding weight. So this product's gonna add more weight to my hair as well. So we're just focusing on getting the product on my hair right now. And then I worry about distributing it through evenly through my hair after I get it on my hair. So this is, I create hold that I'm putting as over the UFD and plenty of water. And then next is a little bit of mop top and then a little bit of papaya slip. I have recently learned, I know y'all have mentioned in the comments and have asked me about bamboo ginseng and I didn't have a lot to say about it cause uh, I did not know. But recently I was watching one of the lives that Aisha did on I Am Black Girl Curls. And she mentioned that the main difference in the two 
they both can be used for anti-humidity, anti-frizz. Because I don't use it for hold, right? I use it for the anti-humidity, anti-frizz product. Uh, property the papaya slip and when I looked at the bamboo ginseng looked at the ingredients and the purpose I didn't see that so I thought maybe they're not similar but she mentioned that the different the main difference is the finish it provides on your hair um, maybe a, a shinier finish than papaya slip so I translated that to me, she did not say this to me personally, that for someone who has a more ashy, not reflective, you know, hair surface texture, which is me, y'all know my hair doesn't really shine, it's sandy brown, it's been that way since I was like a baby, a little kid. No, actually, that's not true, because when I was like a baby baby, it was like a blondish brown, just like when I was born, my eyes were blue, and then they went to gray. And then they went to green. I got baby pictures where my eyes were blue and they've changed. Um, so, so has my hair. So it was like a sandy blonde and now it's a uh, sandy brown, right? The sandy is the fact that it, it, it don't shine. That's okay. I'm focused on definition. I'm focused on hydration and I'm focused on healthy, voluminous, even, cut you know shaped hair that's my my goals but saying that to say because the bamboo ginseng sorry i'm just putting the top back on this don't accidentally knock it down and spill it everywhere the mop top the bamboo ginseng since it might have a different finish and serve a similar purpose to papaya slip then whenever trepidora does restock papaya slip and bamboo ginseng then i will be uh, probably depending on my budget, my budget, uh, getting both so I can try the bamboo ginseng and see how the finish is different for my hair. So now I'm going to work on evenly distributing the product through my hair. I just run my fingers through them. If I hit a snag, I pull it apart. Because for me, this helps me just like pre-pare, pre-position my hair. Distribute the product as well evenly too, but to set me up for like the best wash and go. No, it's getting close to time for me to get my maintenance cut so my hair is a little more snaggly to get through so I think this is even more important because of that because I don't want to I don't want to have like too any or too many knots in my hair I don't want to rip out this hair that I'm trying so hard to grow out so this really helps me like when I skip this part I can tell like my wash and go Compared to when I do it, it's kind of like, it's like it's trash. It still looks good, I know to y'all, but for me and my expectations and where I've come, what I've come to appreciate and expect from my hair, it's like, now you know, you know you should've, you shouldn't have gone right into raking and smoothing. We, we know this. And that Abigail, she just be looking at me like, on my head, like, girl, you know you didn't do me right this week. And I had to say, you know what? I forgot. You're right. Especially when I look back at the videos. One video I looked at and I didn't even realize that I had skipped it. And I was like, oh my goodness. That's why my set wasn't that great that week. And I also have my detangling brush with me today just in case I need it. I also can tell a difference, I think, because my Uncle Funky's daughter, I was like at the last of my bottle. And I said, okay, maybe I'll just use a little bit less this week. I think I can feel the difference too. And just how I'm going through my hair and the, the slippery, the slipperage.
I'll come back when we get up here because y'all can see that better and then I can rake and smooth this faster if y'all aren't watching me. If this is your first time tuning in, I post my hair videos every Friday at 5.15 CST, Central Time. So if you, um, of course I post, I try to do makeup on Mondays, you know, soap on Saturdays, stuff like that. But the most consistent video content I do is my hair videos right now so tune in turn on your notifications i usually upload the video on like wednesday or thursday and then i schedule it to um show on uh <clears throat> fridays at 5 15 cst so and then i usually um, it'll post if I do the instant premiere because they'll have the the live chat box open when the when the video first premieres so if you want to join me for the live chat then if you have questions or just want to watch the video when it first premieres then you can talk to me in the chat and I usually let you know if I'm not going to be there with my community posts. That sprang up too fast. Let's let's do this one more again. Yeah, I've been using my detangler brush a lot today. I just feel it's necessary. I don't have like the the patience today. So <laughs> I'm using it to help me along as I rake and smooth my hair in these small sections. So use the tools that you feel are necessary to get the job done at any given time. It doesn't mean you're like a bad hair doer. It doesn't mean you're, you know, it doesn't mean it could mean, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you're detangling, you know, doing a shampoo and conditioning phase is like trash or anything. It's just like arms could be hurt from a workout. You didn't get good sleep. Your mind's occupied elsewhere. Your hair is kind of springing up more than it usually does. Like use it, use detangler. There's no judgment here. You know, as long as it makes that hair come out beautiful like you want to that's what we want right do what you gotta do so I'm gonna go ahead and part my hair on here I'll be careful. Let's see, just come back here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Abigail. Thing. It's okay. I'm good. Okay. Sorry, girl. All right. I need to brush it more with my hair like this, so I don't get the hair under here.
and I've told y'all right my hair the density here and here is more dense here than here the it's more tightly curled here than here the surface texture is more coarse here than here in my hair smooth those edges down as you go so then when you get under a dryer they can be set That's raking, this is smoothing. This is raking, this is smoothing to me. Yeah, see how it sprang up and then I smoothed it and now it's more aligned with the other hairs. Yeah, I'm like, be like your brothers, brothers and sisters, now don't be showing out. But see, that piece was like, hey, you know how some kids they need you know different attention than other kids to get the same results so if you got that piece it's like spring it up and you're like wait 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 just say okay i must have spend enough time with you and just go back and smooth it some more
you go over there. We don't get frustrated at tangles over here. We just, we try to gently work through them. Whew. I know my face says otherwise. I, I try to speak, speak positively so I don't get frustrated and rip my hair out. Y'all see her? She wasn't like that when we started. Uh huh. Good job. It is a little bit right there though, what happened? Let's fix that. He's going off to a little black dog. hard for the dryer to get through all that so I like to dry it back like that a little bit and then it can come back forward after it's dry all right so let's center the dryer on high heat for at least an hour what kind of dryer do I use I have put that in the description box yep I like my new little portable hooded hair dryer I like that I can it's lightweight I like that I can roll it around or carry it easily. I like that the height on this thing is adjustable. And I like that I can put it in the front room, like the, the tabletop one. It was best for me to do it on my sink because it was like the perfect height. But with this one, I can put it up front. I can dry my hair while I'm watching TV or, you know, anytime because it's not super loud. So I just really love it for the more convenience that it gives and I can move it all around the house I can leave it up front 
put in the back room and then, you know, roll it out when I get ready. I like it. So anyway, uh, at least an hour. I think I've been doing like an hour, 15 minutes lately because it's so much more comfortable under the hood of hair dryer now. Put a, you know, pillow behind my back and make a snack and have a great time. So I'll see you when I get back. We did about an hour and a half under the hooded hair dryer on high heat. So you see how it's still like wet right there. Not so damp, it's a little damp in here. So I'm going to take, this is my dryer with the diffuser attachment on the end that I use. And so I'm just gonna go in with it and dry my roots more especially here where it has tend to has been tending to frizz the fastest and make sure this section is like extra dry hey this is day two hair come through day two we got movement y'all can y'all see i need a haircut All right my hair is kind of growing growing out of shape but the way this pandemic is set up I'm uh, giving it a couple of extra weeks or you know however long it takes right for things to calm down till I'm comfortable you know going out and about I haven't caught the COVID during this whole pandemic I'm not trying to start catching the COVID you can get, I'm vaccinated. You can still catch the COVID. I ain't trying to do that. So we're gonna do the best we can till we feel comfortable getting our hair cut, okay? In the salon. But she's, she's fully, she still got some work to do here. Um, it's important to take pictures because as my hair, like it grows, it seems like it's growing faster back here because this is a looser, silkier, curl pattern right up here is looser and here is tighter so even as it <sighs> grows out you know at the same rate it could look like some parts are growing faster than other parts but really it's just a looser curl but when I get my hair cut right the reason I'm getting my hair cuts at here is because I'm giving these these shorter parts giving these shorter parts time to grow out more with the rest of my hair so then it can all grow down even and full and healthy together so when I do go get my hair cut most of the length I lose is right in this area right around here because this is where we're by we're you know me and Abigail but also me and my stylist are working to continue to grow this part out. And you could see it when I was raking and smoothing how it's a lot shorter here than down here and we want this to, you know, to meet up more. So that's still a goal of mine is continue to grow out my shorter spots to continue to cleanse condition style every week and to yeah, keep my hair in the best condition so it can be as curly and defined as it can be and as I like it to be. So I will definitely, oh, I didn't, did I show y'all? Did I show y'all really how it looks in the back? Crack my back and how it looks in here. Yeah, the thing too about washing goes, I love that the definition goes from the root to the end and I do plan to next time, this is my little frizzier part, shorter part I do plan to next time when I do my braid out or my twist out is to um, usually I'll just twist the ends around my fingers but I will use like rods at the end of my hair to see how that does um, with the ends and maybe that will make them not so frizzy off the jump because um, they'll you know be kind of rotted but we'll see and you'll see with me i'll see you on day three one more thing i forgot to mention is that i did work out today so this is my hair after wake up work out with the hair buff on um 
work out, you know, sweat it, then take a shower. Then when I come out of the shower, whoop, um, take my hair buff off and, you know, help my hair down. So this is my hair after a 35 minute, 40 minute workout today, right? She still got, got movement and plenty of definition. That's it for real. See you on day three. Hey, welcome to day three hair. We got frizz, yes we do. We got frizz, how about you? Okay, in my frizzy spot. But because of, you know, the smaller sections and how my curls look, it's not like so evident. It would definitely look better if I had to, you know, get my hair cut on time like I'm supposed to. But um, I don't know about where y'all been, y'all live, but here, we got school shutting down to get COVID cleaned in Alabama. Um, we got staffing issues because so many teachers and people are out because they didn't got the COVID. So I'm still not not risking, you know, getting exposed for for a haircut. So we just gonna wait a little while, continue to watch the situation. You know, y'all stay safe out there, and I just do the best I can. See this. This got definition, more definition. This is just like free us, right? That's okay. But yeah, so, you know, we know how to keep our hair as healthy as possible in the meantime until we're, we're, we're comfortable getting our maintenance cut. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, see, see these being out of order. They need a haircut. Need a haircut. But hey, my hair is growing and that what we want. Not for it to grow right, but for us to be retaining length. So for you to be seeing it growing out, then you can see the length retention and my hair is getting fuller because it's being more even, you know, growing down. So yay for day three here. I did not work out today. I do not intend on working out today. Every other day works best for my sets. Uh, if I do every day wet, wet hair, and what I probably should have done, right? So when I set my hair on day one, I should go through day one, unless I worked out before I reset my hair, right? Then day two, I should not work out, and then I should work out on day three, because that just lets my hair like get really, you know, set before it gets damp. From the workout and then i sleep on it and all that activity going on but, but it's okay we know how to reset our hair however long it lasts so you know we'll get definition again hydration the next time i will see you on day four hi welcome to day four hair so i'm sure you noticed that i pinned my hair up into like a twisted updo situation. Woke up, took my hair out of the hair buff. The fro zone over here was, it's like, it, it's like it's a contagious disease. Like once it starts in one spot, it just spreads. And whatever happened from when I went to sleep to when I woke up this morning with Abigail, um, it had spread. But I don't wanna reset my hair still a good set and I thought okay see if I can because it was still you know fairly malleable even though it's frizzing like this you know when I pull it out it pulls out but it just poof, go right back okay so I'm like well let me see can I do me a nice twisted updo because when my hair is dry like I like it because I can get a higher up you know bouffant or whatever but I didn't record myself doing the twisted updo because it was like a last minute experimentation and I wasn't quite sure if it was gonna turn out well. Plus I've already done a couple of videos for you all showing me doing twisted updo. So it's like the same method um, to twist my hair, but I do have hair pins in here to hold it down since it wasn't set in this style, meaning going from wet to dry. So I got a pin here, one there, one there one there and then the pin I use to pin it at the ends and over here it's a pin right here right there three 
So it's about four pins on each side. Actually, you know what? See, I, I tapped that pin. It's hit my head the wrong way. I don't like it. All right, that's better. So I could have also taken my eye create hold in a little bit of water and like really shellacked set my edges. But I'm also loving and appreciating my edges doing their own natural curl thing with my healthy edges. So I didn't do that today. Not saying that I won't do this tomorrow because um, it's cute. <laughs> I like how it turned out. So the only difference with how I sleep, since my hair is in an updo like this, I would prefer to sleep with my hair tied up in a satin head scarf. I'm not sure if I'll pop back on when I'm getting ready for bed to show you that, but that's the only difference in how I plan to sleep on my hair versus when I just have my wash and go or my twist out because you know that kind of helps keep it flatter on this part as I'm sleeping and then in the morning if it's like too smushed I can just kind of gently pull it pull it up again so that's my day four hair same wash and go just twist it up into I didn't add any water or anything I just twisted my hair up into this style and my lip color is playmate from the lip bar today and it's like a fuchsia pink and so if you do decide to get your own liquid lipstick from the lip bar, please use my code ABN10 and get 10% off. And I appreciate your support in that and using my code. And I will definitely see you on day five. I will not be taking my hair back down and retwisting it tomorrow. Like this is, this is in there. If I take my hair down tomorrow, it's going to be because something tragic happened last night and my hair is all over my head. Or it's going to be because I found time to reset my hair. But as of right now, I don't I don't intend to do that. Yeah. So I'll see you on day five. Hey, welcome to day five hair. See she's a little more smushed, but still doing great. I think I might lay my edges with y'all today. This hairstyle reminds me of like vintage back during my paternal grandmother's time when you know in the movies like everybody was pretty and I had posted a picture on my Instagram of my grandparents when they were younger and every picture then where the people were working that I've seen my family everybody just was all so pretty and dressed up and nice so this makes me feel very vintage you know classy so Somebody tells you your hair looks like a grandmother. Well, I'm like, well, who's grandmother? Cause you know, both my grandmothers are slash were, one's deceased and one's still with us. Some snazzy, classy ladies. So if you tell me that, you talking about my grandmas? I'm like, <laughs> thank you. All right, so I'm just dampening my fingers. All right, cause I create whole works best with water and that's what I'm using for my edge control today, right? Do one side at a time. Got my little brush. And so it looks like this is swoopy do, this one and this one. So I'm gonna start with this one. And just put the product on there first. my little curl but she gonna get edge controlled I create hold it today but we'll see if she snaps back tomorrow like ka -chow, you can't get me down which is also fine because my little edge curls are awesome yeah with my hair like this like I, I feel like we need extra, we need a blazer on, we need some pearls. Yesterday was opals on. We need to make sure our makeup is done. Like do, do the whole thing with the snazzy hairdo, updo. Oh, 
that's so much better. Sometimes you gotta use the comb side instead of the brush side. This side likes the comb side better. And then go back with the brush. Okay. Okay. All right, y'all. So all I did, you know I sew right, and my fabric stash, you know, I got some of everything in there. So I had this satin charmeuse uh, Angelina print. Most people call it dashiki print, but did you did you know the technical name for this is an Angelina print in some circles? So anywho, today I plan to, I just took the fabric and folded it in half and tied it around my head. Took the fabric, folded it in half and tied it around my hair, but you see the edges are still raw. So my plan today is to hem these edges all the way around and it's just gonna be my new satin headscarf. Okay. Yep, so that will be my little project that I do today to finish this scarf. Should take 10 or 20 minutes, depending on, you know how you start doing something, you get distracted, you start scrolling through Hulu or Netflix to figure out what you're gonna watch while you're working. But if I just like concentrate and do it, it'll probably take me 10 or 15 minutes. Yeah, to do that today. All right, I will see y'all on day six. Hey, welcome to day six. Day six here. Still got my updo going strong. I did this morning just kind of moisten my edges a little bit and just brush them back. I didn't add any more. I create hold to it. So this is the style I will likely be wearing for the rest of the week, probably until my next wash hour, trying to make it hold on, which I don't really have to make, I don't really have to make it hold on because it's holding on well, but until day eight, right? And then continue on, <coughs> excuse me, till my next wash hour. So this, this style has me feeling very vintage chic, you know, put your pearls on and put a blazer on, right? And go about your day. So this is day six. I will see you on day seven. Hey, welcome to day seven hair. You may notice it looks a little different than yesterday. So what had happened was I wear blue like, I don't have my visions perfect, but I wear blue like glasses for because we're sitting so much in front of computer screens because of how this pandemic is set up. So yesterday, I think when I wore my glasses and took them off, I had like pulled a section of hair down, this section here, but not over here. So today I said, I was gonna tuck it back, but I was like, oh, I could just make it cute. I just wetted it a little bit and twisted it around my finger, pulled this side down too. And now we got a little, you know, the style's a little different today than it was yesterday. So this is my hair still in, pinned up in the updo. I did work out today. My hair is still damp from my workout today. Uh, my lipstick yesterday was Parma from Stila Cosmetics. And my lipstick today is Patina from Stila Cosmetics. So if you like a creamy liquid matte, nicely pigmented uh, liquid lipstick like I do, then Stila, Stila is like my number one. Um, the lip bar is like my number two and Gerard Cosmetics is like my number three top liquid lipstick uh, sources where I look to first if I'm looking for a, a new lipstick or to refresh an old, you know, worn out one up either, you know, it's getting empty. So we need to up it, re-up it, refill. So this is my day seven here. Um, I will definitely see you on day eight, uh, which is next, the next day where I plan to reset my hair in a wash and go and share with you some uh, tidbits about how I adjust my wash hour a little bit, especially with the application of certain products. So I thank you for watching day seven. I will see you on day eight. Welcome to day eight hair. We made it. I do like the versatility of the wash and go, right? Where I could set my hair and wear it down 
first half of the week and then pin it up in, in an updo but because my curls are set and encased in gel and quality styling products that I'm not having as much like frizz or pop outs like I usually would because my hair is set in place so I look forward to seeing you on the next wash hour thank you for watching have a great day